Welcome fellow cosmic voyagers to a journey unlike any other. My name is Ari and today I'm thrilled to be your guide to the enigmatic and beautiful planet Mars. Forget your earthly itineraries and open your minds to the crimson landscapes and towering geological wonders. This isn't just a sightseeing trip, it's an exploration of a world that has captivated human imagination for centuries. We're about to delve deep into what a future trip to Mars could look like. In this special tour, we'll uncover the secrets of Mars, from its colossal volcanoes to its ancient dried-up riverbeds. So prepare to have your perspective shifted and your cosmic curiosity ignited. Fasten your metaphorical seatbelts because our voyage to the Red Planet begins now. Our first destination is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and tallest known mountain in our solar system. Imagine a shield volcano stretching wider than the entire state of Arizona, with a peak nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. As we approach Olympus Mons, its summit wouldn't immediately loom, instead the ground would begin a subtle incline continuing for hundreds of kilometers. The caldera at its summit is a complex of nested craters, over 80 kilometers wide, deep enough to swallow a small city. Standing on its edge you wouldn't see the base only the curvature of Mars itself. Olympus Mons is a testament to a time when Mars was geologically more active, its interior churning with molten rock. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks active plate tectonics, allowing Olympus Mons to grow to such an epic stature. Imagine standing on its vast, sloping flanks, the reddish plains of the Tharsis Montes region stretching out below. The sky above would be a pale pink, the sun a slightly smaller, dimmer disk than we're used to. Olympus Mons isn't just a mountain, it's a pilgrimage site for any serious Martian explorer. Our next stop takes us to a region that might evoke a strange sense of familiarity for those acquainted with certain terrestrial wonders. Imagine an area on Mars, informally nicknamed Cappadocia, for its breathtakingly alien yet hauntingly familiar rock formations. Here the Martian winds and perhaps ancient long-vanished water have sculpted the landscape into an array of spires, mesas, and hoodoos. Picture towering pillars of reddish rock, some capped with harder, more resistant layers, creating natural sculptures that rise from the dusty plains. Exploring this region would be like wandering through an alien art gallery, where the artists are the fundamental forces of nature. Each formation tells a story of erosion, of climate change, of the planet's slow transformation. The historical significance of this Martian Cappadocia could be multifaceted. Perhaps it was one of the first regions where early explorers sought shelter within natural rock overhangs. The thin Martian air would carry fine dust, and the only sounds might be the whir of your equipment or the distant sigh of the wind. It's a landscape that invites contemplation, a place to ponder the immense timescales over which such beauty is forged. Now let us journey to the poles of Mars, to witness one of the planet's most dynamic features, its magnificent polar ice caps. These aren't just static fields of ice, they pulse with the rhythm of the Martian seasons. Composed primarily of water ice like Earth's own polar caps, they also have a seasonal veneer of carbon dioxide ice. These caps expand and contract with the changing temperatures. As Mars orbits the Sun, its axial tilt causes distinct seasons. During the Martian winter, temperatures plummet, freezing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It deposits as a bright layer of CO2 snow or ice. Then, as spring arrives, the sun's warmth causes this dry ice to sublimate, turning directly from a solid back into a gas shrinking the cap and releasing CO2 back into the atmosphere. The visual spectacle of these caps is breathtaking. From orbit they appear as brilliant white swirls against the reddish backdrop. The Martian polar caps are crucial reservoirs. The water ice represents the largest known accessible cache of water on Mars, a vital resource for future human exploration. Our next destination is Gale Crater and its central peak, Aeolus Mons, more affectionately known as Mount Sharp. Gale Crater is a vast impact basin, approximately 154 kilometers in diameter, formed by an ancient collision billions of years ago. Mount Sharp stands nearly five and a half kilometers high built from accumulated sediments. Each layer tells a story of a different environment, a different era. The exploration of Gale Crater by NASA's Curiosity rover has revolutionized our understanding of early Mars. Our final must-see wonder takes us to Jezero Crater. This 45-kilometer-wide crater holds an ancient river delta, carved by water billions of years ago. 
The delta is one of the best preserved on Mars. Jezero Crater tells a story of water. Evidence shows a river once flowed into a lake here. The Perseverance rover is exploring, collecting samples for future return to Earth. Jezero Crater is a scientific frontier, seeking to understand our place in the cosmos. And so, our grand tour of Mars's top five must-see wonders comes to a close. From the colossal heights of Olympus Mons to the ancient water-carved landscapes of Jezero Crater, we've journeyed across a world of stark beauty and profound scientific importance. Mars, as we've seen, is not just a red dot in the night sky, it's a dynamic planet with a rich history, a place that challenges our understanding of planetary evolution and holds tantalizing clues about the potential for life beyond Earth. These destinations are but a glimpse of the marvels that await future explorers. The universe is vast and our curiosity is boundless. If this journey to Mars has sparked your imagination and fueled your desire to explore the cosmos, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. We'll be embarking on many more interplanetary travel guides, uncovering the wonders of our solar system and beyond. There's so much more to see, so much more to learn, and I'd be thrilled to have you along for the ride as we continue to expand our cosmic horizons together. The adventure is just beginning. Until next time, keep looking up and keep wondering.